Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I will take you through how I do my raw processing in Capture One. I would like to thank you for supporting my channel. So now, you know, those liking my videos, the subscribers I have so far, thanks to you guys. Now, if you like this video, just go ahead and press a thumbs up, share it to somebody you think will benefit from it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, kindly do so. Click on the subscribe button down below and press on the bell button so you don't get to miss any of my tutorials. So if you look at this image, it was a project I did for a makeup artist. It's a, a creamy bar on Instagram. Now I'll insert her handle in the description section so you get to check her works on Instagram. And this model is a beautiful Araba Say, a beautiful motivational speaker. I'll add her link also so you can check her out on Instagram. Now let's go straight to business. Now if you look on your left side here, I'll reset everything to how it came straight out of camera. Now, I like underexposing my images so I can get every detail captured. Then it's easier when you know, raw processing it. So the first thing I do when I get here is the levels. I always start with the automatic. And then we start moving. Now I think I like the I use the K value in camera for the white balance. So I think it's a bit warm here. So let me go to daylight and yeah, it looks cool to me. So we start with the exposure up a bit, up brightness a bit. So already we have this. It looks still a bit too warm, so I'll go down on the temperature just a bit. Something like this. Still too warm. Then press on auto and break my identity back there. So looking at the histogram, it's a bit high on the shadow. So let me just level it up a bit here. Then this slider is for the mid tone. So as you can see, so let's go over this. I think I like the outcome. So as I said, this was going to be a very quick tutorial and so soon we come to the end of it so let's look at a global before and after so this reset button if you press on the option on mac or alt on pc on the window here yeah. you press this you see before now before now don't forget you need to press and hold option or alt before pressing this otherwise you just reset so this is simple before so I think we are okay with it. So we just copy this adjustment. Then just this and this. And this. So guys, this is the end of our tutorial for today. And I hope this has been informative for you. And I'd like to thank you for watching.